Oh, I'm so excited it's here. But it's a day late. Well, two days late. It should have been here Friday, really, because it was mailed on Wednesday. Priority mail. It arrived on Saturday, and we went to the post office for it. But they hadn't sorted it yet, so they didn't know it was there. Anyway, today is Monday. They've been in transit oh, almost a week. I cannot imagine they're going to survive. But we'll see. First thing is they say is don't bitch about it. Uh, the first thing I would like to say is thank you very much for purchasing your hatching eggs. We absolutely love that you that we do and what we take it seriously, blah blah blah. India blue. That's the kind of peacocks they will be if they come out of this. <coughs> the next issue is how big are peacock eggs? <laughs> I couldn't find a an incubator specifically for peacocks. You know, they're all chickens and guineas and I'm hoping a peacock egg isn't any bigger than a duck because they all mention ducks. I do think one of the differences is the humidity needs to be higher for peacock eggs. There's a lot of moisture in here, at least. I guess that's good. Well, I'd say they're well packed, wouldn't you? Well, hell, they're glued in there. Not sure how I'm supposed to get them out. Okay, peacock eggs are pretty damn big, aren't they? That wasn't the only problem with these eggs. <gasps> That's why there's so much moisture in there. One broke. And so I don't know if it's contaminated them all or not. Well, it's very possible it's killed all of them. I'm going to rinse these off and let them rest. I'm torn here because I don't really want to wash them. The shells are permeable. When they're hatched, uh, the hen leaves a covering that dries on the outside that protects the egg. 
if you wash that off, that egg is vulnerable to anything outside it. One thing I want to stop doing is walking around with them. I think I'll just wipe out off the outside and hope I don't ruin the shell. Alright, I'm just going to leave that on because I don't know what else to do. Well, I've got three. I'm going to contact the seller, but he doesn't guarantee safe arrival. And, oh, we'll see what happens. All right, they're in here. This is day three. I haven't candled them yet. I don't know if I can... So they're too big to fit in the chicken cradle, so I have to hand turn them. I have an X on them, so I know something. <laughs> and I'm spraying them with water to keep them hydrated. There's my glove. I have to wear one of these noisy gloves. Sorry. And I'm just going to turn them. The important thing is, is the larger part is a little higher than the pointy part. As far as the incubation is concerned. I'm going to spray them up. them a little bit more. And then quick get this lid back on. So you lose a little temperature when you do that, but it's only for a few seconds. And the mother gets off the nest every once in a while they can survive up to a half an hour. I don't know, I don't have a whole lot of hope, but we're going to go through the process anyway. <clears throat> it's day 10, so I'm going to candle these eggs. Let's see. Mm-hmm. 
We're halfway through. Twelve more days. Something. Can't tell. Can't tell. Is there anybody there? I can't tell. It's like looking at a sonogram to me. What do you think? I have a feeling that two of these eggs are going to hatch. I think one of them was scrambled. But um, we'll see. Seven more days until they arrive. Thank you for watching. Subscribe below and hit the bell so that you get notifications when a new video is posted.